Harry will be in the United Kingdom on September 7 to attend the Wild Child Awards. The date of the awards is the day before the first anniversary of the Lake Queen's passing. Within two days, Harry will depart for Germany to begin the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf. However, one major issue is where he will stay, this will be the first time Harry has returned to his childhood home since his death. Charles reportedly made the decision to remove his son and daughter-in-law after their continued public attacks on the royal family and with no UK home now at his disposal The Telegraph reports that if Harry does want to use a place on royal estates for accommodation during his trip he'll be forced to ask for permission alternatively he might have to ask friends if he can stay with them or just check into a hotel meanwhile Harry will also have to arrange his own private security for his trip to the UK as he is no longer entitled to automatic police protection in May he lost a bid to bring his second high court challenge against the Home Office after being barred from paying for police protection when visiting the UK he argued that he should be allowed to pay privately for his security after protection was pulled following his move to the U.S. with his wife Meghan Markle but the Home Office decided that the Royal was no longer eligible for personal med security while in Britain even if he covered the cost himself earlier this year the High Court ruled that the Prince could not seek a judicial review over the decision the news of his visit comes as insiders confirmed that neither the King and nor Prince William have plans to meet with Harry with him equally having no intention of seeing them either a source has stated that relations between Harry and the royals remain firmly rooted at rock bottom particularly after the claims and accusations posed in Harry's memoir Spare the Insider also stated that, even if there is a prospect for reconciliation, it will take some time. Quote from a source even in the memory of the late Queen, things may be a long way off, despite some people's suggestions that it would be wise to urge the family to resolve their disagreements. She mentioned Meghan Markle's exclusion from the late Queen's death anniversary in it. Given that Harry and Meghan's only means of income are as members of the royal family, the snub must be especially hurtful. It also suggests that the king has finally found his medal and that it is now time for retaliation, and for that we should all cry three cheers for the king. The pair will not be able to take advantage of the most moving royal ritual since the queen's passing for their self-serving documentary next month, according to Ms. Patel, who feels the message is clear, they are not wanted here.